Uh, hello everybody and welcome back to the Patreon server. Playing some Revelations 2. How are you doing today? I hope you're doing well. Last episode we set all this conglomeration up. I have sat here and run a bunch of stuff through here. We've got a lot of processors. Do I need a ton of netherrack? So, yeah, got a ton of processors. Uh, I am in the process of making some pure Fluix crystals. We're going to need some of those today for these controllers. And what else do we got going on? So, yeah, today we are going to get our system hooked up, start working on storage other than storage drawers. So, for this system, the first thing we're going to need is some of these ME controllers. I've got... I thought I had... That was odd. I thought I had a bunch of Skystone. Never mind, wrong series. We need to cook these up right quick. Uh, space. So little space. All right. While that is going, shouldn't have come down here. We need to come up here. We need to work on a few things here. First things first is we need some terminals. We're going to need several of these. We're going to need a ME terminal. Well, we're going to need a crafting terminal. We're going to need a pattern terminal. And we will need a interface terminal. So first things first is we need to make this illuminated panel. And I need some glowstone. All my glowstone is down here. Oh, I'll be so happy when this is done. I won't have to do all this running around. All right. So last thing we need is quartz glass, which is quartz powder and some just regular glass. I should have quartz powder. I don't need all of that right now. And some glass is in this one. Go ahead and make that, well, make that all of it. We're going to need a bunch of it anyways. Anyway, so we got illuminated panels. Boom, there we go. So, first things first is we need a ME terminal, which we need to make some of these annihilation cores, and we're going to need some formation cores. Pretty easy stuff to make. Matter of fact, let us go ahead... Grab enough stuff to do a couple stacks of these. I don't know. I think. Yeah, I used all of that up. Don't have nothing ready for today. That's going to go in there, but it's not going to build... Let's we'll see if the sag mill is any faster doing this. It is a lot faster. Mm -hmm. 
and I'm probably getting some extra ones because we've got our signal of balls. There's sky blocks. Let's go ahead and grab a handful of those. Well, this thing's almost done. There we go. I did not get any extra out of that. And I forgot what we were doing. We're going to need. We're missing those. Let's clean out some inventory space. These we don't need right now. Those we're going to need. There is a stack of those. Matter of fact, there is two stacks of those. We're going to make a bunch of them because before it's done and over with, we're going to need more than that. Alright, so we need the rest of these. And that's not even close to being done yet. Throw these in here because this went a lot quicker. Alright, so while that's going, we're going to need, we've got that, we've got all of this, we need to make a crafting table. We need a ME interface, which is, there we go, there's more of those. And for the pattern terminal, which is right there, we just need two crafting terminals. So let's make another crafting bench. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. This should be done. We need some nether quartz. And that should be everything we need to do this. Alright. There are those. Alright, let's stand over here and do this because we're going to need this stuff over here. So, ME terminal, we're going to need at least two of those. We need two of those. And there are our two crafting terminals. We need a engineering processor. There's our pattern terminal, our whoops, our crafting terminal. And we need to make our interface terminal, which is right here. So we need to make one of those. Go ahead and make them all up because we're going to need them before it's done and over with. There we go. Beautiful. We've got all the terminals that we need. May not necessarily use all of them right now, but we're going to need them before it's done and over with. Alright. Next up on the list is our ME interfaces. Let's grab a bunch of those. Let's go get what bit of... Now with... I'm doing a large setup here. Um, all you need is one controller to get started. That's it. Uh, we're going to be doing a lot of different stuff with this. What are we missing? We are not in the right crafting grid. Uh, 31 of them. We're going to need more than that, so we'll go ahead and make all of these anyways. Why am I not getting any advancements for any of this stuff. I don't know. Anyways. 
So this room is a nine by nine, or not nine by nine, it's nine tall. Right in the center of this is going to be our controller. Uh, let's see, three that way. Wait. We want three that way, and I can't see. Three that way. So there is the beginnings of our seven by seven. Two, three, four. Five, six, and seven. -ish. There we go. It's one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. And there we go. This is going to wind up as a complete cube when we are done and over with here. Now this was something that I was going to put in the center. It's just not going to work out for us. Uh, I do need do I have one more I do not. Alright, now I do. Got us a flux plug. We can just pop this on here anywhere. Select the network, and boom, our system has power. Alright, so, next thing that we need to do is we need some Fluix cables. Just some basic ones for the moment. And I have no idea what I did with what I had. I don't think I did anything with them. So let's grab that. Let us grab that. We need some more glass and let us go there way more than we're going to need right now, but it will work. Alright, so, for the moment, actually I tell you what, I'm going to wait just a minute, and I'm going to hook this whole thing up. All i got to do is wait for everything to finish processing. Uh, and then we'll be ready to hook up the entire system. So let me get that, and I will be back. All right, we are back. Got this thing all nice and complete and done. It's party. I love it. Our 7x7x7 seven by seven by seven cube. So next up, we need to hook up all of our interfaces. Now, I've already run Fluix cable up to the next level. Oh, am I going out there? We can just go, floof, and there we go. Up here, we want our interface terminal, we want our crafting terminal, and we'll put our pattern terminal there. Neither one of those, actually none of it's going to do us a whole lot of good right now. Next thing we are going to need is this thing right here, storage bus, which is our interfaces that we've already made, and we need some pistons. I don't believe... I have any more pistons. I do not. Let's get that. That. Two of those. Two of those. And we need some slime balls. Well, we can still technically use this. It's just not going to show us anything. Storage bus. We need pistons. There we go. There's that. One sticky piston. And there we go. Storage bus complete. Now we can hook 
that to there. And this should have now everything that's in here, in here. And it does, which is beautiful. We can now access all the stuff. Got quite a bit of stuff in there. So, our next, wait, 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 I want to see something. That shows 63,000. That's 57. Okay, that's about rightish. All this stuff is eventually going to be gone and stored other ways. So, our next bit of business is we need to actually set up some digital storage. So, we need some ME drives. Fairly easy to make. Iron, glass cable, and engineering processors. So, that is next on our list. ME drives. Six will be enough for the moment. Actually, it's probably way too much. And we're going to need something to place down. We're going to set our drives up. Um, that'll be good enough. So we want... Really? Did I just do that? Alright, so, there we go. Drive set up. Now we need to hook these things up. Now, the way this thing works, Applied Energistics works off of channels. Each piece of, or not each piece, but each set of glass cables that we run off of here will give us eight channels. I don't understand why that keeps doing it. There it goes. Now this is not going to be how we're going to leave this. I'm just hooking this up right now to show you all. And there we go. Now, we do not have to hook this up to every single one of these. Uh, because the way stuff in Applied Energistics works is if it's... If this one has power, this one will have power, and then this one will get power, and so on and so forth. So these all got power. They are all hooked up and set up and ready to go. So the next thing we need to do is make some drives. This is where all the fun crafting comes in. Um, we've got several different kinds. We've got 1K storage. We've got 4K storage. We've got... 16k storage and then we've got 64k storage and then outside of this we have extra sales in this pack which will give you uh, 256k and then 1024 and then 4096 and then 16384 we are nowhere near ready to do any of that matter of fact I don't know if we'll even get that far or not because really have it's for storing a whole lot of stuff and it's really a lot easier just to hook everything up to uh, deep storage units or not stored deep black hole units so I usually just stick with the 64k drives but we need to make a bunch of the others so that is what we are going to do that can go away matter of fact right now everything can go away That up, that up, that up, that up, that up, that, 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 that. We're going to need that. All right. So let's get a bunch of those. And we're going to need a bunch of Certus Quartz. Actually, we can just go ahead do this right here it'll put these now being set up with this storage drawer it will put these and you can see them right there in a storage drawer but 
that's just regular service quartz. That's what we want. We're going to make a bunch of these because we're going to go ahead and upgrade them all to 64Ks. And we need the calculation processors. Alright, that should get us where we need to be. Why did that just... We are out of quartz glass. I should have known. Alright, let's do... Actually, we don't have to go down there. We can go over here. Wait, uses, can we do quartz glass that way? Yes, we can. All right, let me get some more quartz glass and then I will be back. All right, we back. Got everything we need. This is actually going to give us about a stack. Oh, wait, what are we missing? Glowstone. I should have known. And that means we are probably not going to have enough to do all this. And we're going to need glowstone for that. All right, we're back. I'm hoping we've got enough now, at least to do what we need to do, which is the 64K drives. We've got 21 of them. Now we're not going to use all of these for storage. It's not what we want. We want this right here. Let's do ten of them. That'll fill up one set of drives, and we'll be good to go. That was not where I wanted to go. There we go. All right, so we can put these in here. And now if we put something into the system, it'll go in here instead of into the drawers. Matter of fact, we are going to... Well, no, I don't want to start doing that yet until we get more storage hooked up. Our next bit of business is going to be our first bit of setting up some auto crafting. We need... These right here, 64K crafting storage. I want nine of these. Should have enough to be able to do it. Where did all my cable go? Aha. And we, that hurt. We need more of these. All right. So nine of these. And 
and nine of these. All right, next up on our list is we need the crafting co-processing unit. So we need, I want, oh, I don't know, that many of them? And we'll do that many of them. And we're going to come over here and we're going to start our little setup. We're going to do these in a 3x3 three three pattern and we're going to do... Now you can tell if these are, so you've got them set up to where they're going to work. Uh, because they will, as you can see, won't do the multi-block without it. And basically it's more or less just a building these things, but it's too many. Uh, and each one of these is going to help with speeding up our process and... Um, give us more options of being able to craft bigger recipes. So now to hook this thing up we're going to get fancy with some of our cables. I want to hook all this stuff up. I think actually we don't have to do that just yet. Um, I used everything that we had didn't I? Yes, I did. Oh, I tell you what. Fluex cable, we need some of this. And we don't have... We've got that, we just need some glass. Not much, but it will work. All right, we don't have to go up there for this. We can just do this right here. Put that there. Some cable, that should be enough. We should be able just for now to run this. Pretty sure that runs just off of one channel. Pretty sure. All right, next bit of business. We need Emmer, Emmer. We need interfaces, which we've got a few steel, and we are going to need molecular assemblers. These right here. We're going to need quartz glass, which we got, iron we've got, cores we've got. We just need some It's not what I wanted. Need that. Need some crafting tables. See what we can get here and There's 16 of those. Interfaces, can we make some more of those? What do we need for those? Need more glass. Beautiful. That'll work. That's more than we're going to need right now. Okay. Last thing we need is we need to make some dense cable. Because we are going to need more than 32 or more than 8 channels in order to do this. So, dense cable is made from dense covered cable. 
which is covered cable, which is wool and glass cable. So we need some string. That should be enough for us to do what we need to do. We've got seven pieces of cable. I've got to fix that. We don't have to do that. Let's just go boop and boop and boop and that and that. that there is 64 of those there is 16 of the dense cover cable and to make the dense smart cable there we go And we're going to set these up on this side of the room. And I'm probably going to want to do this a bit differently. Do we have... We've got one left. I just nowhere near enough. All right, we are back. So, in order to run these to where we want to and without using a whole bunch of dense cable, we are going to make some P2P tunnels. Hopefully. Actually, I don't know if we're going to be able to or not. We are going to have to make some of the charged. I just got rid of all my water. Really? All right, I've got our two P2P tunnels. And we need, where's this thing at? I can never find it. It's right here, memory card. Beautiful, there we go. All right, now to hook this thing up, we're going to start our network on the inside of this. We need some cable anchors. So we don't get all this stuff mixed up. And we need just some kind of ingot. That'll work. We're not going to need that many of them, but that's what we're going to run with. Alright, so get this to work we need our cable anchor we're going to start right here place down our smart cable it's not touching anything but that side we want to hook up the p2p tunnel to the end of this and we also want to run a fluex cable to the end of that and we are going to need to right click on this that will save that tunnel in uh, save this tunnel on the card now we're going to come out this side right here let's get this this is going to be a long video I apologize uh, we're going to set this up right there for now 
this is all subject to change. There we go. All right, so we need Fluix cable. That's connected. And we're going to run it up to here. We will put the P2P card there. We'll put our cable there. Now this is not connected yet. We we'll take our memory card and get down in here to it. Right click on that. And it is online. And it should show us it's got four channels. Now this does the interfaces as the channels, um, but I don't believe it's the molecular assembler. The molecular assemblers, assemblers don't have a channel. All right, so if we go over here to this cable and we look at this cable, this cable has four channels. Um, so we've got four channels running, but we're only using one channel off of here on the outside. I hope that makes sense I'm not sure if it does or not um, but it's a way of moving channels around without having to use a whole bunch of dense cable and without having to hook up a whole bunch of um, running a bunch of cables now we've got this cable running down here to this P2P channel this P2P channel it's only considered one channel on to this here Fluix cable. So we can still run another seven channels off of this one cable uh, that way. And then we can connect as many to it as we want to. But we're going to get this set up so we can call this a video because we are getting long here. So basically we just got to go back and forth with these. And voila, we're going to go, we'll do, well, we got enough to do one more. And I don't know if, let's see here, that's got 12 channels. We are four high. Beautiful. We can actually probably come in here and add a molecular assembler there and one there. I don't know. Let's see what that did. Did it go from 12 to 13? Went to 17. That's what it should be. 4, 8, 12, 16, 17. We can add two more molecular assemblers to this and it will fill this thing out. Uh, but I'm going to leave that open for now. Now, molecular assemblers, we can put in uh, acceleration cards to speed up the crafting. The interfaces is where the patterns go. Uh, basically, you put the patterns in here, the molecular assemblers will craft them. So, we're going to make a pattern. For a blank pattern, we need to set this up. So, a blank pattern, glowstone, quartz dust, we're going to need a bunch of glowstone. Anyways, we can do that. We can make a make one, make a pattern for it. Now, so that's how you make patterns. We can do crafting patterns, and you click on here and you can make processing patterns. We'll get into all that later. Crafting terminal, this will show all of our different assemblers, or not assemblers, but all of our different terminals downstairs. And we put that in there, and it should be in one of these. Who knows which one it is? I don't know where it starts at. Right there it is. So now, 
we go up top we can look in here we can actually set this let's say store we want to view craftable we can craft do I have enough stuff to do it no I don't have enough glass to do it do I have enough to do five we do now we can set this thing to craft it's going to be a slow process because we don't have a whole lot of acceleration cards and stuff like that in why is that not crafting oh because we're only showing stored and craftable as you can see there we go we got our five blank patterns and now we can move on about our business I just put those in the wrong spot we can start moving about our business and start putting uh, patterns and different stuff into that and start with some auto crafting but that's it we are running way long on this so I hope you guys enjoyed the episode I thank you for watching and I'll see you guys next time bye